All right, thanks for uh, tuning in to Cellular Repair School. Today we are going to show you how to uh, successfully connect uh, this piece of the battery to the actual phone so we can power it on with our power supply. Um, first step we're going to do is we are going to uh, remove this piece of the battery uh, connector. All right, so we're going to cut right here. All right, and we're just going to have to peel off some tape. This is kind of the tedious part. Now, um, this battery is uh, not a good battery, so I'm actually just going to cut these areas. Okay. And it might bend very easy too. It might bend right off. All right. So what I'm trying to do is expose. I want to get to these uh, two silver pads here. One of them is positive. One of them, <clears throat> one of them is positive. One of them is a negative. Um, what I'm going to do is connect my leads to that. And how I'm going to do that is first let me show you the power supply here. All right. And we're going to turn it to 3.7 volts. Go ahead and plug this in first. And what we want to do is use our alligator clips. Now first I want to make sure that I do have the right positive and negative. If I don't, it'll beep at me, which it just did. So I have to reverse my polarity. All right. I'll just clip it there. And it there. And what I'll go ahead and do is try to turn the phone on and it powers on. So if you guys are ever wondering on how to test a iPhone and make sure there's no board level issues as far as um, maybe trying to uh, identify if it's maybe the battery that's bad or the uh, the board itself that's bad, um, you know have one of these uh, connectors spare just to always you know have on hand to test your phones with um, the 4s and the 4 uh, do have different connectors so just make sure that you have both of them on hand uh, but it does look like it's powering on everything's functioning so um, obviously it's telling me it's, I got a low battery because I don't have a battery connected to there um, so everything's functioning just uh, uh, that's how you successfully test the board using a power supply
Okay. Again, thanks for tuning in to Cellular Repair School. We'll see you next video.